Hi, my name is Desmond Byrne from RX Mobility. We've put this video together to give you an overview of the RX Mobility program, the mobile app itself, the pharmacy portal, PK Compound RX, and workflows that are impacted when you implement the program. Firstly, just to give you a quick overview of what RX Mobility is, there's three parts to it. The first part is a mobile app. That's the part that your patient downloads from the app store for free. It's branded with your brand, your logo, your colors, and your, with your content. That connects into a pharmacy portal, and the pharmacy portal connects the mobile app into your PK Compound or RX software. Together, these items have a variety of different benefits. The primary benefits of using RX Mobility are reduced call volume, increasing refills, reducing interruptions in your lab, simplifying your lab's workflow and improving patient compliance to their medications. Let's just give you a quick overview of the mobile app. The mobile app is for your patients. It's branded for the pharmacy. It's free to download, contains information about your pharmacy, provides dose reminders for the patients. It facilitates quick refills by patients. It gives a patient a refill reminder. It enables a patient to stay informed about pharmacy events and promotions. And it gives patients immediate access to their script history and any updates that you have about that particular script. And whilst that is a, a mobile app for your patients, really the RX Mobility is a mobile platform for your pharmacy. For example, refills arrive straight into your to-do list from the mobile app. Refill reminders are sent automatically and the refill reminders are based on the day supply in PK. Patients can stay informed about script statuses automatically. When you dispense it, a dispense message gets sent to the patient as a push message alert and the script history updates on, on the cell phone. So when a patient uses the uh, app, they have a full overview of their script history on the phone, therefore reducing the amount of calls you have to make into the pharmacy. If it is their first time, the patient enters the script number and the date of birth, press refill. Once that's submitted, then it gets sent through to the pharmacy portal and through to PK software. And PK will check if it's a valid script or not and send back an appropriate message to the patient. In this case, the order has been accepted. PK will also synchronize with RX Mobility and update the script history, which will then be available on the app for the patient. The patient can receive a variety of different messages from the app and PK when they submit a refill request. Scenario number one is that it's a valid script number and the date of birth is valid. In this scenario, the refill is entered into the to-do list in PK the app is updated with additional patient and prescription history information and the patient is sent a message your order has been queued for processing. There is a second scenario whereby something is not valid. It's either the script number or the date of birth. In this scenario, the refill is not entered into the to-do list in PK. No patient data is sent to the app by PK and the patient is sent a message, order has been rejected, along with a reason, either an invalid date of birth or an invalid script number. In the third scenario, both the script number and date of birth are valid, but the refill will need to be checked in the pharmacy. The next slide will show the reasons why that may be the case. In this scenario, the refill is entered into the to-do list in PK. The app will be updated with additional patient and prescription information, and the patient has sent a relevant message. In this case, your prescription has expired, we will contact your doctor. Here's a list of messages that the patient could get in this scenario. A couple of things about this. Number one, if you use the command create new from old script in PK software, then the app will automatically update with the new script number and retain all of the patient details for that script. And secondly, early is defined as being less than 80% of the day supply in PK. So for a 30 day supply, you're talking about 24 days or less. When dispensing the refill, then a message is automatically sent 
by PK Software uh, to the patient using the app and it'll tell them that the item is ready. PCCA set this point of dispenser, point of validation when they are upgrading the PK software. One of the key features of RX Mobility is the refill reminder system and how it works because it has been optimized for compounding. It uses the day supply in PK and it nets out the lab and delivery lead time that you set up when we start the program with you. So for example, if the day supply is 30 days and your lab and delivery lead time is set at four days, then the refill reminder will be sent on day 26 to the patient. When you're using Rx Mobility, there are a number of different pharmacy workflows that can be improved, but there is one workflow that works out of the box and starts happening automatically once you deploy the program, and that relates to the refill workflow. Basically, once a patient puts the script number into the app, followed by their date of birth, then that script lands into your to-do list. You start processing that script. You will know the script because it will be flagged with RxM or Rx Mobility. When you dispense the script, a message is automatically sent to the patient to alert them that the item is ready. At the end of that cycle, the app is automatically updated with the patient history and details, including data on the refill, which is contained in the day supply. Based on that day supply, then the patient is sent an automatic refill reminder. Assuming they press refill, then the, the, the second refill will go into your to-do list and the whole system propagates. That whole scenario is very much automatic. It just works out of the box. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to do any other manual data entry or anything. It just occurs. And to facilitate and to help you with that, there's a couple of different reports that you can run. There's a log of scripts report, a refill reminder report, and a data mining report. In each of these reports, you can filter in or out Rx mobility related scripts. So for example, if your refill process uses phone calls, and you generate a refill reminder report every day to give to your staff, then you will be able to remove RX Mobility generated scripts from that phone call by removing the RX Mobility flag in the refill reminder report. Here's a couple of screenshots of how PK looks uh, with RX Mobility. So you can see here the RX Mobility checkbox indicates that the script has come from RX Mobility. In the prescription history, then again, there's a flag RX Mobility, like checked or unchecked, depending if the script comes from the app or not. In the to-do list, again, there is a checkbox for RX Mobility derived scripts. Here's the refill reminder report. And in the refill reminder report, you can remove scripts that come from RX Mobility you can see that just to the right of the target symbol. Again, same thing, this is the report itself. In the log of scripts report, you can filter out scripts that come from RX Mobility or you can view only scripts that come from RX Mobility. So that is one aspect of RX Mobility and that side of it all occurs automatically. Then there's another aspect of it, which it helps you to improve or build other workflows in the pharmacy. And these are all done via the pharmacy portal. And so you log into the pharmacy portal and you get additional functionality that you cannot access using PK software. Thank you.